In this video, we'll walk through exactly what you need to prepare when bathing your dog and teach you how to bathe an Akita at home like a pro in 11 steps. Make bath time more relaxed and happy for both you and your Akita. Let's dive right in. Do Akitas like baths? Most Akitas like a good petting or massage, but they don't like bath time. However, if you can make them comfortable and happy, your dog might enjoy it. Then they will trust you and sit obediently. How often should you bathe an Akita? You should bathe your Akita once every six weeks to three months. Of course, there are many factors that affect this routine like environment, their daily activities, and shedding season. If your dog plays outside in the mud, snow, or rolls in something stinky, they probably need a bath. But keep in mind that do not bathe your Akita too often because it can dry out their skin, deplete natural oils, and lead to scratches and irritation. Natural oils are protective oils that help protect their coat from dirt and damage, but can disappear if your dog is bathed too often. How to prepare to bathe an Akita Before turning on the water and starting to bathe them, it's best to set up a comfortable environment so your Akita can relax as much as possible and feel like a positive experience. Thorough preparation will make it easier for you next time and create beautiful moments between you and your dog. Number 1. Choose a good place. First, you need to choose the right place to bathe your Akita. Make sure you have a comfortable space to get the best result. So with their large size, cleaning your dog outside instead of indoors might be a good choice in some seasons. Number 2. Prepare your dog's coat. Take a few minutes to brush your Akita's coat, especially if your dog has long hair that gets frequent tangles. It will help remove dirt and dead hair from their coat and make the bathing process more comfortable and easy. Number 3. Adjust water conditions. Please always adjust the water temperature and pressure, especially if you're bathing your Akita outside. Water should be lukewarm and low pressure whether you use a hose or shower head to bathe your dog. Number 4. Collect the necessary items. Do you need high fashion clothes to bathe your dog? Of course not. Wearing comfortable and casual clothes might be the best choice in this case, and choose outfits that you don't mind getting dirty and soaking. Then collect every item you need in the bathing place, including shampoo, conditioner, a set of combs and brushes, cotton balls, and absorbent towels. Do not use human shampoo on your Akita, and always use a natural shampoo specially developed for dogs. The shampoo you choose should be free from harsh chemicals and detergents which strip the natural oils from your Akita's skin and coat. There are many shampoos that are specifically for Akita or for any coat type. Then you will find out advanced preparation is much better than trying to find the missing items when your Akita is shaking water all over. Best part, how to bathe an Akita at home. Step 1, put cotton balls in their ears. Akitas have erect ears. It is easy for water to splash in and leads to infection. That's why you should put cotton balls carefully in their ears to prevent water. Step 2, with their coat. Test the water temperature first to ensure it's lukewarm. Ask your Akita to stand. You can use a shower attachment, bucket, or other appropriate containers to wet their coat. It may be challenging because of their double coat. But you have to make sure that your dog is completely wet before moving to the next step. Step 3. Apply quality shampoo. Use your hands to gently apply the shampoo through their coat down to their skin. Take care to avoid sensitive areas like their eyes and face. Foam and water if needed. Thorough shampooing will help build a healthy coat and skin. Step 4. Massage your dog. Massage with a small amount of shampoo you just put into their coat just the same way you'd have your head massaged in the salon. It should be a pleasant experience. Massaging with running water can remove some more hair. Leave the shampoo on your dog's coat for several minutes before rinsing with water. Step 5. Rinse the shampoo. Thoroughly rinse the shampoo to remove all the soap. It can take some time with a thick coat like this. It's a good idea to lower the water temperature slightly when rinsing their coat. You can use a cup to wash behind the ears carefully and in other hard-to-reach places. Step 6. Apply conditioner. Use a light conditioner to nourish and moisturize your dog's coat without changing its texture. Do not use heavy conditioners unless their coat is harshly damaged. Apply conditioner to the coat and follow the direction of hair growth. Don't scrub it as you do with shampoo, so just rub it on the surface in one direction. Then leave it on for 2-3 to three minutes. Step 7. Rinse the conditioner. Rinse your Akita coat like step number 5. 
Make sure all products are removed from their coat. Step 8. Let them out and clean inside the ears. Let your dog out of the shower after they are rinsed thoroughly. Remove the cotton ball from their ear. Now stand back, because they probably are going to shake. Then clean inside the ears with cotton balls or ear wash solution. Step 9. Blot with a towel. Once the bath is complete, no matter where you bathe your Akita indoors or outdoors, you need to dry them with a towel to remove excessive moisture. However, avoid using a circular motion to avoid any further tangles. Step 10. Dry the coat with a dryer. This is an important part of the bathing process to keep your Akita healthy. Don't let them out until their coat is completely dry. Dogs with dense coats like Akita should be dried fully to prevent wet spots in the undercoat that can lead to hot spots. This is a common skin disorder in dogs and causes sores and pain. Set the dryer to the lowest setting and keep a far enough distance from your dog's coat. It's best to use your free hands to lift and separate the coat. This helps you know when the dryer is too close or far enough for comfort. As you know, Akitas have a double coat, which means this drying takes longer than other breeds. Be patient. Step 11. Brush hair. Once the dog is completely dry, brush the coat in sections until the dog is tangle-free. It is better to use your hand to review the entire coat. For a final check, use a comb to brush their coat, and a little to no hair should be on the comb. Brush the coat thoroughly again to help remove more shedding hair and prevent knots. Now that you already know how to bathe an Akita at home, you and your dog should be able to have a smooth experience with practice. Bath time won't be a big deal. Now I'd love to hear from you. Do you have any tips for bathing Akitas? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. Don't forget to like the video if it's helpful to you, subscribe to the channel, and check the description box.